Hi, my name's Eric and I'm with Manel Sardani. I'm demonstrating our new basics actuator right here from me for our international distributors. Um, right here, as you can probably tell, this is a very small and compact actuator. This can actually actuate up to two inch ball valves. Um, has an IP67 housing, um, dome style position indicator. It has a manual override with a included Allen key that you can do over on top of here. And then also, for our eagle-eyed viewers, there's actually a smart screen on here. And actually, that's a lot of the cool things that come with that actuator. So if I turn this guy on, there we go. So on this one, you see there's a whole entire screen that illuminates when the actuator is powered on. This is a fail-safe unit, so right now it's charging its capacitor. Um, this unit does not use lithium-ion batteries. It's completely capacitor-based. Our large units, our 60 and 110 newton meter units, do use a lithium-ion battery. Um, the great thing about this is you can always see how much charge is actually going on the actuator while you're powering it up, so you can always gauge how much time is going to take. And also just so you know how much juice is inside the actuator for when you actually need it in those fail-safe conditions. Um, once this kind of finishes up, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, this happens on startup for all the capacitor units. Um, it does not happen on start for the lithium ion batteries, but that's just to ensure again that this will operate um, during those fail safe conditions when you need it most. Uh, once this is all finished up, it will bring us into a main menu, which you're about to see once this hits 95%. Okay. So here we have a bunch of different stuff. So we have set V, which is a set value. This is a modulating actuator on this particular unit as well. Um, this is pretty much tells what the actuator is being told to do. So if I turn this dial over here, it's being told to go up to about 49%. And this actuator is actuating to about, boom, 49%, right on the dot. So it's pretty much just where you can see like what your control panel is telling you to do versus this actual position of what you want it to do. Um, there's also a bunch of other cool things you can go in here, like a local manual control. This is protected by a password so no one can uh, access it while out in the field besides uh, proof technicians. You can adjust the valve either way, whichever way you need it to go for when you need to just kind of mess things around in your system. So let's get out of there. It just defaults back to its control position. And then here's where all the cool stuff is. This is going to be the main menu inside of here. Okay. So you have different choices in language, in Chinese and English. Um, control mode, you can set this to mean a 4 milliamp signal means closed or 4 milliamp signal means open, depending on which one you have here. Um, no control action. I call this my poor man's failsafe. Reason being is if you lose control signal, the actuator will either go from keep its position to go off or closed or to open up. Um, however, it still needs to maintain power to do this. I mean, it's only offered on 4 to 20 milliamp and not 0 to 10 volt. Uh, dead zone is pretty much how accurate the actuator will be um, based on a percentage of its working angle. Um, this is a hysteresis adjustment toggle. For this feature, hysteresis adjustment, so if there's any slop in the ball valve or any lag between the ball and the actuator, what you're actuating, you can actually adjust for this on the actuator itself so you can still maintain pretty great control. Uh, manual speed is um, that local manual control that we did earlier. This sets the speed for that so you can get much finer control during that operation. Brake delay, um, this is kind of something that really shouldn't be touched as much, but this also kind of says how, when does the uh, motor stop compared to when it reaches this position. This is great for very, very large torque values, uh, larger actuators, to so make sure you're definitely seating like a butterfly valve all the way or things like that. However, it shouldn't really be touched on that one as much. Uh, speed max is the maximum speed that the actuator will go, 100% being its maximum uh, working time. On this particular unit, it's about 15 seconds. And you can slow it down just for in case your process needs to be a little bit more finer controlled or you don't need that much time on there. Uh, speed min is where the actuator kind of stops itself over a range, uh, which is then by range adjust. So essentially, 
the actuator go from its speed max values from, to its speed min value over an adjustment zone of about 10% of its working angle. This is so that the actuator will be slower to stop, allowing you to get a lot more pinpoint control and accuracy when the actuator is stopping. I'm positioned at 4 milliamp. This is to adjust your working angle. You can bring that down or up. So your open or, I'm sorry, your closed rather would be either a little bit behind or a little bit more open than usual. Same thing with position 20 milliamp. Your open signal will be a little bit, can go higher or lower, like all the way up to even like 180 degrees for your three-way ball valves. Um, this is your feedback for 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps going back to your controller. Um, stall time is pretty much... Uh, how much is actuator is going to work um, to come, like overcome an over torque position um, before it goes into an alert mode. Uh, PD action or power down action is the fail safe. So what would it do? Would it fail safe closed, keep its position or fail safe open? Capacitor charge is how much the capacitor will charge up before it can be operated. Um, so you can bring that down to its minimum value of 60%, which is good for like one or two cycles, or in this particular case, it's 95%, which can do about six or so. And then you exit your setup. So essentially, there's a lot of control that you have on this actuator, which is actually really cool. As you can see, um, now the actuator is power cut. You see power cut up there. It's PD off, so you know it's going closed. And the angle is... The actuator is fully closed while my power has been shut off to my thing over here. And um, yeah, no, there's a bunch of other great features on here. Sometimes if like you're overcoming that like um, alert state or you're becoming over torqued or things like that, the actuator will flash alert just so you know. Um, and a whole other bunch of slew of features on this guy. But it's been a really exciting product. Um, again, it's very light, it's very compact, and it's very feature rich. And we're really excited to uh, share it with you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.